Hey everybody, um, so I wanted to show you um, just something I ran across um, on how to get your graphs to actually take. Um, so this graph right here is a citrus graph. It's a Meyer lemon onto a wild citrus tree in my yard. <laughs> and as you can see, it's so that the graph down there has a lot of branches, established branches to compete against. Uh, and so I grafted this on. It didn't take off um, and so uh, it's probably over about a year old um, so I just want to show you another tree that I grafted at the same time and I was able to get that graft to work so let me take you to that tree okay so here's that other tree so as you can see take this off I don't know if I'm required to put that there if it helps protect the tree but so I cut the tree off so this was an established wild lemon tree I actually had fruit on it this year that I picked off and um, so anyways I had to graft see there's the graft right here and it, it was doing the same thing as the graft over there it just was not taken off it's been on there about a year uh, so I went ahead and just chopped that this tree off and I took off any of the sucker uh, branches below and so this tree only has one branch to work with, and that's this graft. So if you look here, after I did that, that's probably the biggest biggest citrus flower I've ever seen. So it's like it's pouring all its energy into this one little graft here. And then my focus is not that great on this camera. I'm just trying to see if I can bring it into... You can see the, the, it's got some... Uh, new offshoots on it some little leaves uh, shooting off and three actually four different spots really hard to see because uh, the, the camera's not that great it's just my phone camera but anyhow so that's um, uh, yeah so so if you want your graph to take um, or you know actually put out some leaves and stuff um, you may have to think about chopping your tree down see I could afford to do that because I have like three other yeah, or actually four, you know, maybe three. Three other um, wild lemon trees in this little spot right here. Um, so so I could afford to cut this one off. So yeah, that's um, just a little tip, something I ran across. You, you guys may have already known that, but I was just trying to graft onto existing trees, uh, not trying to cut them back or anything. But it looks like to, in order to get a graft to take, you do want the, the tree's energy to be focused in on the graft and... Um, and just so you guys know, this was an, um, I don't know what they call it, like, uh, it was the L cut, um, and I just slid it in, um, the green, I put, slid in some green growth, um, Meyer lemon, and, uh, and just used, uh, electrical tape, um, so, so yeah.